Hey what's up guys Apollo Uchiha here and I'm back with a new short movie the name of the short movie is what if Naruto was blessed by the goddess of boxes and seduction and yeah guys it's an unscripted movie as well now before continuing this I wanted to say to you guys that the reason I'm making this movie is because I wanted to change the pace from action to maybe romance and a little bit of you know mushy stuff so yeah this is that type of movie and it's going to be good and interesting that's for sure so i hope you watch this and love it and if you do then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel and do not worry i will be making your ideas and movies from tomorrow onwards again and yeah i just wanted to change the pace that is why i'm uploading this movie and i hope you like this one and you know what to do if you like it and yeah without further ado let's begin with our today's story shall we story begins in a world in which 99% males cannot use chakra and 1% who can't are quite rare and are quite strong as well as we go towards konhagakure in such elemental nations in different universe where we go towards the house of the fourth hokage minato namikaze the current present male of the next generation who could use chakra the previous one was hiruzen sarutobi and the other ones were the second and the first okage hashirama and tobirama both brothers as he was currently comforting his wife inside his house as kushina was crying again because she had learned that no matter how hard she will try she could not get one thing that both minato and her desire a child a family they had only themselves as minato no matter what tried to cheer his wife nothing worked after that kushina as if lost herself she would rarely meet her friends sometimes they were busy and sometimes she just didn't want to talk to anybody not even minato and minato was quite hurt by this as kushina one day was in the li- library of their house as she was learning and reading and passing her time to forget about the pain that was there she's trying to ignore it Then she saw something on the page it was the Uzushio temple in which every deity statue was placed as she got excited because she knew that if she goes there and pray to each and every one hopefully just hopefully that her wish can be fulfilled so she went to Minato quite excited as we go towards the office now so let me get this straight kushina you want to go to Uzushio Gakure ruins all by yourself for 2 weeks. Yes, Minato. I will be back. You don't have to worry about anything. Plus, I'm a big girl. I can take care of myself. Ah, <sighs> I know about that, Kushina. It's just that, really? You you're not going to bring me as well? No, I have to go alone, Minato. Look, if I would have I would have brought you, but I have to go alone. There is something that I must do there. And plus, you cannot even enter there because of the barrier. Yeah, you're right. I guess Be careful out there, Kushina. I will. As after that, Kushina packed her stuff and left Konoha back to her old village, which was now in ruins for two weeks. It took her two days to arrive there at Jonin level speed, and after arriving, it took her two more days to locate down the temple, the original one. It was quite hidden, well as well as placed and heavily guarded with seals after seals. As when she entered there, there was the statue of every deity there. the deity of strength nature kami yami herself and shinigami and then finally the goddess of seduction and foxes inari as one by one kushina prayed to all of them as she was quite tearful and after that hoping that her prayer must should have reached and heard she returned after praying for two days there unknown to her her prayer was more than heard the seduction goddess the goddess of foxes inari statue glowed pink after she left as after returning kushina and minato spent the night together and minato was happy that his wife was finally returning back to her normal self and kushina was really returning back to her normal self and after that she was a happy lady and 3 months later Surprisingly she found out that she was pregnant and Minato was just baffled at what happened. One moment Kushina was not able to get pregnant and now this regardless he was happy that they were going to have a family. 
their long life dream was finally going to be fulfilled. As finally, the time came to an end of 9 months. And today was October 11th. And Kushina was inside a special prepared room which was guarded with seals as Kushina placed them all with herself. As Tsunade was brought back to Konoha at the request of Kushina and Minato. Thank you for being here, Tsunade-sama. Don't be. I'll leave as soon as this is done. I only arrived here because Kushina begged me to and pulled the cousin card on me. <laughs> I apologize for that, but don't be. As after that, Tsunade and Bivaku begin to help Kushina out during her labor. As after some time, Minato heard the cries of a child. It's a boy, said Bivaku. As Minato and Kushina were both happy as both of them shed some tears of happiness, but they didn't know that their happiness could not last any longer. As a masked person arrived there, as he kicked everywhere and with kicked everyone away and captured the baby as Kushina's scream were heard as Minato dashed inside, but only to be caught by a black shadow as from the ground, a creepy man appeared, a plant-like man. Good job, Zatsu. Good job. Now, I want you to hand over the QB, or the child. He will die. No, n no, you can take me. Ah, so you are the Jinchuriki of the QB no Yoko, Kushina Uzumaki. Who would have thought? <laughs> Don't, Kushina. But Minato, our son, I, I will save him. Oh no, you're not going anywhere, Minato. As the kunais of his were thrown away by Zetsu. Damn it. Minato said, as everyone of the other aside from them were also kept in hold by Zetsu. We can't move. A suddenly giraffe bursted through the door. Do not worry, everyone. Giraffe the gallant Sanin is here. Rasengan! With that word, giraffe made a Rasengan in midair and charged towards the mass person. The mass person with the child disappeared. Big mistake. And now you will forever have lost your child. I hope you are happy now. As both parents screamed no, and Shurata said, what the hell? What did he say? Thanks a lot, Sensei. We lost Naruto now. Wait, what? What do you mean? I just saved you, Minato. You did not save us. Our son just got taken away. Thanks to you, Jiraiya. Whoa, 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 Kushina. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. What do you think we were doing here, genius Sasunare? This is Major. <sighs> I'm so sorry for your loss, Minato. Kushina. Yeah, we will find him down. Anbu, lock down the village and find the mass person. Lock down the whole Konoha borders, as well as the land of fire borders. Go now! As Anbu spread out, um, urgently. As that mass person arrived far away, as its voice turned feminine. Are you sure about this? On you. Yes, I am sure. I have to do this, otherwise Sensei would have found out about me. Thanks to you, I developed the Jutsu to alter my voice into a maleish one. As the mass person was none other than Onio Uchiha, the dead student of Minato no Mikaze. So what are you going to do with him? I don't know. He is innocent and he does not have done anything wrong. He was just brought into this world. I have a plan. Why shouldn't, why shouldn't we raise him? What? Yes, think about it. He can be our loyal slave, or you can say our tool to use. We can train him, mold him as our weapon. Yes, you're right. I guess you're right. As after that, Onio brought Naruto with her, as well as Zetsu, disappeared from the sides. But one figure was not happy. Inari, as foxes could be seen throughout the forest chasing after them, as it took them one day to reach back to Amegakure, as this was their current base, and the base for the newly reincarnated group, the Akatsuki, as the only members there at the time were Nagato and Konan. So, what you have brought, Madara, as the mass Onyo has been wearing her mask and shroud and have been hunged into a maleish figure and changed her voice. 
I have brought myself a discipline, a disciple of mine, who will help us out in the future. I see. What, what do you wish for us to do? Train him. You, Nagato, are the only Uzumaki male with Brinnegan. I want you to pass one of your eyes to Naruto when the time comes, because I know that you will not be able to live that long because of the damage that your internal system has sustained thanks to the Renegon. I see. So he will carry out my legacy. Yes. All right. N Nagato, are you sure about this? Madrasama, please think this through. I have already, girl. And Nagato will do as I have said. Fine. If Nagato has chosen this, then I will follow your orders. As after that, we go back to Konoha as Minato and Kushina were devastated. They have searched even to the borders of Konoha for two days straight but could not locate down Naruto. They have searched through woods, they have searched through Konoha up and down, even found Danzo's base of fruit as well as abandoned Orochimaru's laboratories and bases all over Konoha Land of Fire but still couldn't find down a baby. And they were devastated, thinking for the worst, but Kushina knew deep down that Naruto was alive. As Yubi for the first time that spoke, Kushina, do not worry, Inarisama has blessed your child. What? Yes, I know that you went to those Ushio temple, and the statue of Inarisama, the goddess of foxes, was also there. I could feel her chakra lingering onto the child when it was developing inside your fetus. So, so yes, the chakra still exists in this world, and it is fine. I do not know where it is because I am not out there, but I know it is fine. I can sense it because I am a fox avatar too. I, I see. Thank you, QB. Hmm. As after that, QB closed its eyes and went back to sleep. As Kushina then said, he's alive. As Minato, eyes went, what? Kyuubi just confirmed that he's alive. Naruto was blessed by Inari. You know, I went to temples, I mean Uzushio Gakurit, back for two weeks, right? Yeah. After that, you changed and went back to your normal self. It was because there was a temple there. And if you pray to each and every deity, there's a chance that your wish will be confirmed and completed. And Inari con completed my wish. We were granted a family, and it was taken from us. Naruto is still alive out there, Minato. Alright, Kushina. We will try our best to find him. Time skip. Minato and Kushina did not know how long their journey will take before coming to an end. Time skip. 12 years later. As we go towards Amagakure to see a 12-year-old boy was running towards woods. As he arrived in front of a grave, that had the name of Nagato Uzumaki. As Naruto then closed his eyes, his deep blue eyes, and then opened them to reveal purple rippled eyes. Hey Nagato Nisama, I'm back. I miss you a lot, but Onyo Nesan said that I should go and visit you sometimes whenever I miss you. And Kona Nejan has been also bothering me a lot. <laughs> Lately, that I should take care of myself as well, aside from training. But Onione Sama has been hell bent of me training properly, and I should be, as I said. Said Onio, arriving behind Naruto. Ah, Onione Sama, Naruto said as he hugged her, as Onio hugged Naruto back, as she had a smile behind her mask. Now run, al run along back, Naruto. It is almost time for your dinner. As Naruto then said, Oh, I forgot. Conan Nejan is going to get so mad at me now. As Naruto dashed back. As Onio chuckled. Onio, you're forgetting your true mission. I know. I'm not. I was only just trying to act. We still have to use him, Onio. If you get yourself too attached with the boy, it will be only harder for you to let go when the time comes. As Onio felt a jolt and shiver run down her spine. As if her guts were twisted, she was getting too much infatuated with the child. And she deep down knew that, but she denied it. No, I'm not. As a shining on blare to life, 
This is only what you think Zetsu. You do not know me what is going on. It is all part of my plan. When the time comes with my own hands, I will kill Naruto. When his part is done, I will be there with you when that happens. So Zetsu. As after that, Zetsu left as only a side. As she then sat down and closed her eyes. <sighs> what the hell? Her whole body was hurting. Her head was throbbing. As she did not knew, she fell asleep. She ha- she was having flashbacks of the second war. I mean third war, as well as when Rin died. How she saw Obito stabbing Rin with his hand. The girl she thought of as a sister. The only one who was close to her as a family. As after that day, her love for Kakashi died and she felt rage for him. And she wanted to destroy him, but she could not bring herself to at the time. But now, she will if he appeared in front of her. And suddenly, she was in a white plane. As she then saw that her hand was straight to a body. And when she looked down, it was Naruto who was looking at her with tearful eyes. As her eyes were, and as she woke up with a jolt and gasp. As she started to pant heavily, what the, what the hell was that? No, I can't do this. What are you doing, Onio? Said her reflection. What? Yes. Have you not seen what this cruel world has taken from us? I know you have grown attached to Naruto, but he's not Rin, the one who was there for us. But we are the one who's there for him now. I don't want to do this. You're, so you're going to let your grandfather down. Like you have your sensei. Kakashi. Ren. Everyone in your life. And at one point I know you will let down Naruto as well. It was. It will be if I do. Because of your plan. I know. But you have to. If you don't then. What is the point of we we have been doing for all these years. The Koski that have been gathered. That we have been gathering. We were about to commence our mission. Or did you forgot? No, I, I did not. Then get your head straight. And use him like you raised him to be a tool. Nothing more, nothing less. Dispose of him once he's done and finish your job. Rebuild a vill- village world and a village in which Rin can live freely. And so can Naruto with you forever y- you're right you're right as after that Onyo left but she did not knew that it will be hard for her later on as we see Naruto arriving back as now he was sitting on the dinner table with Deidara a female mad bomber with two mouths on her different hands as well as the puppet master who was Sasori also the only male at the time Hidan, the crazy Jashinist female lady, as well as Kakazu, the stitched lady, also an immortal, and as well as the other members who were there. I forgot their names, so that is why I'm saying this. Anyway, on to the story. As Naruto arrived there. Sorry I'm late. Uh, what's for dinner, Nesan? You're late again, Naruto. Where were you? I visited Nesan's grave. I see. Get up now. And rest. You have to train hard tomorrow. Yeah, kid. You have to train hard with me tomorrow. Kisame Nesan. Really? Hmm. What's so bad about me, kid? I thought you loved me. I love all of you. As all of them felt happy. For some reason. They were all bad, but... When they heard this kid talk, they felt happy. And a place where they could belong to. They at first thought that... When they arrived here, that this was... Just like any other decision... Neither good, neither bad, but now it turned out to be a good decision because they had a place to belong to and call home. Well, how about that kid, hmm? I'll show you my art if you come to my room. Gross, Nissan. I will, but later. Hmm. Naruto, why don't you come to my room? Said Sasori. I'll show you the true art of puppets. Really? That's so awesome. No, Naruto. This puppet bitch is lying. The only truth of art is explosion you both are lying the truth that exists in this world naruto is money 
You need to have money at you at all costs. Treat a lady, your naissons, and every woman in your life right. Uh, yes. Come on, don't hog over him, said Kisame. He's going to spend the day with me, as we all have agreed upon, said Kisame. So come on, kid, let's go. I'm, I'm eating. Come on, eat it in my room. As everyone gritted their teeth, but Naruto left with Kisame, who gave them the middle finger while leaving. As now we see Kisame in her normal attire, as her huge bust and tiny waist, as well as muscular waist, was shown. Because she used, she's used to wield a huge sword, twice the size of her body, which was Samehara. So, kid, tell me, how is your kenjutsu skills now? Well, I have reached and learned the first katas that you told me, and I can hold my breath and release it while releasing my strikes. Good, good. That will excel later on when you use the real swords. As Samehara then dashed towards Naruto like a puppy and licked him. <laughs> I don't know why this horse likes you so much. I know it likes me for my chakra, but it is in fact in infatuated with you, Naruto. Maybe you can become the next owner of the sword. Really? As Samehara licked Naruto again. <laughs> Calm down, Samehara. As after that, both of them worked out for a bit and then fell asleep. As we go back to Konoha, as Minato and Kushina were falling apart again because of the loss of their son, Minato tried to hold back Kushina whenever she wanted to go out and search the whole world. One, because of the discriminations between the other villages and Konoha. Two, because he didn't want to cause any misunderstanding. Three, because of the Hokage work he had to do and he couldn't let Kushina go now out on a mission that has taken 12 years to solve the mystery of their son which was not solved even yet as that is why their family was not like this and everyone felt it as well the gloomy atmosphere between them as Kushina was forcefully placed as a joining instructor to keep her tied down to the village with Kakashi as backup to tie her down alongside three Ganons Sakura, Satsuki and Sai as the three Ganons were Team 7, the new one. As Kakashi, also a male who could use chakra, was now also their assistant Jonin instructor. The real one was Kushina because it was an all Konoichi team. As they were doing their D-rank missions and have completed it. As Sakura asked for first C-rank mission and Minato agreed. And it was to guide the bridge builder Tazuna back to the land of waves. On the other side, we go towards Amegakure as the Team 7's mission began at a civilian pace. We go there to see that Naruto has also ventured out because it was the final part of his training to go out and fight and hunt down some bounties. And he has chosen none other than, well, Zabuza, who was also known as the Demon of the Mist and the only male in there. He was quite cranky one as Kisame Nesan told him as Naruto was now more muscular and had long hair and a charm to him. That is why Onyo made him wear a mask and Conan did and did as did many of his, his Nesans and whenever he smiled they usually used to blush. Mostly all of them but Onyo was more like a mother figure to Naruto and a big sister who was always there for him. Well I guess I'm leaving now guys. Yeah, good luck, kid. As Samihara was growling. What the? Samihara, you can't go. You're my, supposed to be my sword for now and my partner. As Samihara growled back. What? What do you mean you have to go with him? You will have him once he returns. But as for now, no. It is his test that he needs to pass. To become a part of Akatsuki. As Samihara growled and whimpered. Ha! Ah, I miss him too, okay? Ha! You admitted you missed Naruto, so what? So do you. As suddenly, then Conan said, Shut up, you guys. I bet I'm the one who loves Naruto the most. He then said, As everyone then stopped before, as they were walking back, What do you mean? <laughs> I bet I'm the one Naruto loves the most. And once he reaches the age of 15, I'm gonna do dash, dash, dash to him. As it is bleeped out, 
as we're saying dash as everyone f- faces turned red and then their eyes were covered with blackness as all of them then charged at Hedon and cut it up cut it her up into pieces what the hey at least bring my body pieces back so i can rearrange myself no go do it yourself as all of them then went to their rooms kakazu and deidara and conan and kisame were feeling a righteous fury at Hedon at the moment but now all they felt was embarrassment as they were thinking the same thoughts at the time while Onio also felt righteous fury but only because the said woman tried to hog over her son her baby boy who she raised for the past 13 years wait what as she was in her room in front of a mirror as the shadow spirit appeared again so I knew I was right about what as Onio gulped you feeling like a mother <laughs> I knew you will get infatuated into this world again and will abandon the mission yeah I did so what so what what about Rin who was waiting for us this is her last hope to come back she's dead let the dead rest you're supposed to be dead as well but you're not resting I see you have been busy it was because of the mission and now you changed your mind because of a kid yes I did because he's more than just normal kid he's my he's your what son <laughs> don't joke around on you not with yourself you stole him from his parents kept him in the dark think about it no think about it what will happen once you find out what you did he will leave you he will hate you he will curse your name as far as i know he might even kill you what will you do then huh he will not stop he will forget about every moment for the past 13 years you have spent with him taking care of him whenever he was ill whenever he was sad being there for him in general and training him he will forget every good deed you have done to him no he won't are you sure about that because i can hear unsatisfaction in your voice and uncertainty as well i don't know okay but i don't want to do this i don't want to hurt him maybe we can complete the mission and naruto ki naruto can be there with me at the time and i complete this and enter with me into the new world we do not know we promised we will build a world for a generation where everyone will be equal and have nothing to worry about there will be no wars hatred nothing but as you are now i'm starting to doubt that world will ever come to reality it will only remain a thought nothing more than a thought then let it be i will not harm my son <laughs> he's not your son forget about this you have to get your thoughts straight you brought him in as a tool and now you yourself are a tool can't you see that you have become someone who is weak i'm not weak the thing you call my weakness is my strength prove it to me prove it to me by telling him the whole truth once he returns i will promise promise i will and he will listen to me as after that onia fell down hugging herself and crying i'm sorry naruto i'm so so sorry as we see naruto who was now all by himself in the land of waves tracking down Zabuza after going towards a bounty place to search for his bounty and his location it took some time for him to track him down but he found him as when Naruto arrived there it took him almost two weeks to get there and when Naruto arrived there he saw that some of the goons were after a lady and a child as she was screaming as Naruto arrived there and killed both of them are you right lady yes who are you you're not from konoha konoha no i'm not i'm from actually uh i'm a traveler actually ma'am i was just passing by so i heard screams what is going on gato and his goons are attacking our village please help us and konoha's team uh okay as naruto then grabbed his mask and wore it as he dashed towards the said place after learning its location from the said woman 
that he helped. As after arriving there, Naruto saw that a red-haired woman, the silver gravity-defying hair dude covering his face, as well as three girls his age were fighting against his target and another ice user. As the girl was almost hit, saving a pink-haired girl, as Naruto arrived there and with his Shinrai Tensei blew away everything. As everyone was shocked, are you alright? Naruto said. As he pulled out each and every needle from Satsuki and healed her. There, it's all done. T thank you. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. As Naruto's golden hair was still visible, which was quite long and silky and untamed. As it hit Satsuki's nostrils as she blushed. It had a aura or smell to it which was quite fragrant that she could not describe as she felt at peace as after that Naruto dashed towards Zabuza. Zabuza, you are done for. What do you mean, done for, kid? As Naruto then brought out two swords that Zabuza realized. Oh, so you are training for the seventh swordsman of the mist. So you are aiming for my sword, huh? Let's see what you got. Haku, stay out of this. This is a legal duel. And you, bastards, as well. Deal with them, Haku. As Naruto and Zabuza began to fight, as Naruto dashed at blinding speed, Zabuza brought down his giant sword, the Executioner Blade, as Naruto deflected it with his two little chikotos and jumped on his blade and then was about to slit his throat when the blade curved and threw Naruto back on the ground as the blade came from above him as it stabbed on the ground as Naruto suddenly ro rolled away. Damn it, hm, you are good kid, but you're not that good. You need more strength in your feet. Who trained you? Kisame. Oh. Huh. That crazy shark bitch. I didn't know that she had any. Hey. You just call my Nissan Shark. To hell with the rules. Shinrai Tensei. Naruto said. As Zabuza was thrown back. Mildly. Into the trees. As Hakuza said. Zabuza sama. As Naruto then said. You're not going anywhere. Universal pull. As a black rod appeared from Naruto's hand. As Naruto stabbed Zab Haku on the shoulder to tie him down to the ground. Haku! Now surrender the sword, Zabsa, and erase yourself from the seventh swordsman of the mist by erasing your tattoo. Never! This is not the rules. This is how you're not been. We live in the shinobi world and Konoichi world as well. So there are no rules, remember? We do not fight with a code of honor. This is the battle of Code of Honor, you genius. Really then, as a blade was stabbed, as Zabuza looked down, as the Naruto in front of him turned into the mud. So you were hiding here from the beginning. Yeah, it was my plan. <laughs> Fair play, kid. Here, take the blade. I'm gonna let you live, you know. Just because you accepted your defeat. <laughs> nice. You have some morals after all. I thought you'd didn't have any thanks to that shark bitch again don't call her that naruto said punching him on the head ah that hurts what did you do to her nothing she's just you know in pain and all and maybe her chakra coil is damaged ah you just caused us more pain kid yeah about that i'm sorry i suddenly got arrived clapping his hands well 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 looks like i was right the Demon of the Mist is not that much of a deal, after all. As then Naruto heard him bickering about his power and how he was going to capture all of the females and rape them. And he saw the woman that he saved earlier and the child as Naruto blood boiled. As he then said, Rinnegan, secret arts, head explosions. As all of the people who Naruto looked at and targeted, specifically his chakra had, their heads exploded. As the kid and the woman was covered in the, well, mesh of the blood and all that was left on them, while the bodies fell to the ground. As Kushina then arrived behind Naruto and neck chopped him as Naruto fell unconscious. As Zetsu then said, shit, 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 as Zetsu dashed back because he knew he couldn't deal with Kushina at the time. As Kushina tied down Naruto and unrevealed his face as she gasped, as Kyuubi then spoke, Kushina, he is the boy, the mask was hiding his presence, he is your son, what, Naruto, as Kakashi and everyone gasped, as Satsuki and the girls blushed there, even the woman that was saved by Naruto blushed, oh my, 
as Kushina then woke Naruto up. Naruto, w- wake up! Uh, as if Naruto wasn't waking up, Kushina's son. I think you neck jobbed him way too hard. Said Sai, I see. We're going to bring him back to Konoha. Our job here is done. I'm taking back my son. Wait, we can't go back. Then deal with this, Kakashi. You guys stay here. Kakashi is in charge. I'm taking my son back. As Kushina didn't want to listen and stay any more there, she wanted to go back to Konoha. And that is what she did. As Kakashi and everyone just saw it. Was that really her son? I think so. And he looks like Sensei. But more defined, I gotta say that. Yeah, he was kinda hard. Sad. Sigh. I would bleep him as both of the girls blushed and at the same time bounced on Sai to beat the shit out of him. As after some times we see that Sai had a black eye and swollen face. You know Sai you kinda deserved that. What Sensei? Is I'm quite saddened by the fact that you support their actions which are quite violent against their teammates. It is against the conduct teammate code. No. This is not right what you said about that kid. This is ugh, creepy. As Naruto was brought back to Konoha, as Minato was quite surprised that Kushina arrived back within one day time span, as Naruto was still not awake, and when she placed a 13 year old kid in front of her table and told her that this was their son, they conducted some test, especially from Tsunade who was still there. They're grieving and helping out Kushina who lost a bigger loss than her. As when she arrived back after conducting the test eight times, it all turned out positive. He is your son. As Minato was happy and waiting, as Naruto woke up, as his hand was still tied. Um, ah, oh, what happened? I thought I almost had them. Yes, you did, Naruto. How do you know my name? What is this place? This is Konoha. Oh, so you were the Konoha name that were there. Uh, can you let me go? I gotta kind of go back to my place or otherwise my Nissans will be worried. Nissans? Yeah. Onyo Nissan and the others. Onyo Nissan? Onyo Chiha? Huh, how did you know that? She is dead, Naruto. She was my student. Oh, oh, she must be then different. Uchiha, I guess. Yeah, might be possible. As Kushina was hugging her, um, I'm sorry to ask you, but why is she hugging me, Hokage-sama? And who is she? She is your mother, Naruto, and I'm your father. Wait, what? These are the tests that I conducted, kid. Oh, Sinata sends you. The best medic in the world. Hm, I'm pleased to hear your, well, compliments, but see this test, kids. These prove that you are their child. Whoa. What? How is this possible? Onyo Nesama told me that my parents died and she's the one who raised me. This Onyo person, is she a mask wearing movement? Yeah, she wears an orange mask. I see. It is quite different from ours, Naruto. But you were taken from us at the day you were born by a masked person thanks to the mistake conducted by my sensei. I see. So... I really am your son, huh? Yeah. As Naruto was quite confused, I don't know how to think about this. All my life I thought you guys were dead and now all of a sudden that I realize that you're alive, I don't know what to do about this. You have to do nothing, son. We're happy that you're home. And all you need to know is that we loved you and missed you and searched everywhere for you for the past 13 years. As on the other side, Zetsu finally arrived at Amagakure. Shit, shit, shit! Zetsu said, what? What happened? As everyone gathered there. Naruto is taken by Konoha. What? And the worst part, it was Kushina there. Shit, said Onio. As she dashed back to Konoha. And so did Konan and every other Katsuki female. As it took them one day to arrive to Konoha. As Naruto was still adjusting to his new life and meeting with different people. As Satsuki and the other teammates of Team 7 has arrived back to Konoha as well. Of Kushina. As Kushina was apologizing to them and everyone was happy to see Kushina happy and Naruto for some reason was happy as well as Naruto was resting in his room. Huh, so this was supposed to be my room, huh? It kind of is nice, but I wish I could talk to Nesan. Naruto was talking to himself as his Nesan appeared. Naruto, 
Ah, Nason, you're here, Naruto said, jumping and hugging her. Everyone is. They're waiting outside Konoha. We should leave. No, they're my parents, Nason. And I've seen proof eight times. They must be lying to you, Naruto. They are not. Nason, why did you lie to me, please? Tell me. I know when you lie. I have known for that longest time, but I didn't say anything because I loved you and everyone else and thought you fe- thought of you all as my family. As Onya dropped her mask and then hugged Naruto. I'm so sorry, Naruto. I, the truth is, I, I'm going to tell you the truth, okay? As Onya and Naruto sat down, but you must promise me that you will not get mad. After you're done listening, I will accept whatever you have for me as punishment. Punishment? I won't. Please listen to me. I am the one who kidnapped you, and I was going to use you as a bait to get your mother, who is the Jinchuriki of QB, to gather all nine tail beaches so I could create a world after creating the ten tails and becoming a Jinchuriki in which everyone will be equal and there will be no hate. And what about me then? I, my main objective was to dispose of you as Naruto's eyes widen. But that all changed, you see? After I got my time to spend with you for the past 13 years, I changed. You changed me, Naruto. And I love you from the bottom of my heart. I I see you as my own son now, Naruto. I know it is mad, but you really are. As Naruto hugged her back, it's okay. I do kind of feel hurt that you are going to kill me and all. As Naruto said, crying, I would never, ever dare to hurt you. I would rather die to do that, Naruto. Please, you must notice that I, I was lost at the time. I did not know what I was doing. I was in a darker place. I see. I'm happy that you're not there anymore. But why do you think that getting the nine tail bijus and reviving the ten tails as you speak it is and becoming a Shinchuriki will create help you create a world? Well, Naruto, the reason I gave you the eyes was because I feel attached to you when you grabbed my finger when I brought you here as an infant. I wanted you to become the one who will become the Jinchuriki and change the world. Me? Yes, Naruto. You, my son. But, Kachan, don't you think that erasing one part of the yin and yang will defect the world? What do you mean, Naruto? Think about it. If you erase all the hatred, the shadows, the darkness, and only light will remain here, it will be nothing. It will not be a world, it will only be a simulation in which we all live in. I have my own theories because I have studied from the best after all. <laughs> that you have. Maybe you are right, but I heard from Madara and Zetsu that Madara, huh? I wanted to ask him about this. Maybe I should focus on Rinnegan spirit visiting technique. You're not going to do that, Naruto. It is too dangerous. M- it may be, but who knows? It might be good for me to see what it, it what there is. Naruto, you're not going to try that. Plus, there are too many people who love you dearly. Really? I know. What? Yeah. Whenever I'm close to them, I feel really strong and I can feel their love. Like I can feel yours and Satsuki's as well as Sakura-san's and Sai's. <laughs> and that... Yugo girl that has been watching me for the past eight hours now. It's quite creepy, but it's still a part of love. So yeah, I guess I'm quite used to it. Really? You have known from the get-go, I guess. Yeah. My mother told me that when I arrived here tomorrow, I mean yesterday, that she begged to the goddesses about me and the goddess of the goddess Inari and the goddess of seduction blessed me. <laughs> so I guess that is where you get from your looks from, huh? And that is why you're able to to make any woman fall in love with you. Whether it is me as your mother or others as seeking you as a partner. Uh, wait, what? Yes, what you thought it was. Um, I don't know. Sisterly love? <laughs> There's no such thing as that, Naruto. Those are such siblings squabbling with one another or either it is something that they want from you. I see. I see. Okay, I guess. And many females will be hurt if you are injured. As we go towards Zetsu, as he heard a voice, do not harm him, Zetsu. Abandon the plan. 
I have chose to reincarnate and I have already decided which body I will take. As we go towards Hanabi's body, who was sleeping, as Kaguya had reincarnated into her as a third eye opened, as she grew and reached the age and height of similar to Hinata, as her father and mother were slack jot who was alive still there, and the whole Uchiha's and Tachi was also there, I mean female Itachi. Everyone was a-okay thanks to Minato and the world was not that bad of a place already. As Kagi also made their way towards Naruto and she arrived there through the portal using Hanabi's body and Hanabi and she was merging us together now and became one. Hmm. Hello Naruto and hello to you Onyo. You were supposed to free me or Kaguya who is a part of me now. But I guess that won't be a problem now. Mother, Zetsu said, Yes, Zetsu, you have done your job. Now, come back here. As Kagi absorbed her will back again into her, making her a part of it. Oh, gross, Naruto said. Yeah, sorry about that. Now, on to the main course. As Kagi kissed Naruto or Hanabi, as those who were spying on Naruto, then suddenly burst into their No! As Minato and Kushina woke up and were there in their sleeping clothes. What? Time out. Okay, come all of you downstairs now, Kushina said, as she was surprised to see so many women there, some of them from her own village, as the women count went as follow: Anko, Kurenai, as well as Yugao and Hana, Tsumi, her friend, she was disappointed the most at, as well as Satsuki, Sai, Hinata, Sakura, Ino, who was also brought by Sakura, Tenten, who was also brought by Ino Sakura, and Hinata, and Hanabi, as well as the Akatsuki group. Wait, Jyoti Katsuki, what are you doing here? Onio, said Minato and Kakashi. Where have you been? Kakashi said as he went to hug her. Don't. You killed her. As Kakashi then grabbed her hand. Don't, no, don't you dare touch me, Harake. We have to talk. If we don't talk, it will not resolve. Come with me. As Kakashi took her. As both of them were now on the rooftop all by themselves. While Kushina was giving an earful to all the females who were there spying on her son. As Naruto was feeling embarrassed by his naysons and by all these females. That showed different sort of love to him at the same time. What is it you want to talk about? There's nothing between us to talk about, Harake. There's nothing left to talk about. You killed her. I saw. You knew she was my family. She was close to me. What did she ever do to you? She knew my heart belonged to you. I used to love you and you betrayed me by taking away what mattered to me. My sister. My light in the darkness. My family. Rin. I didn't do that. She was as much of a family to me as she was to you. She died because... I was going to stab the Kirinin, who was going to take her to Konoha to explore her, releasing the three tails there, who was already enraged. She wanted to die and release it in Kiri. I didn't want it to do that. I denied it. And when I was charging my Chidori up to stab that Nin so we can make our way back to Sensei, she jumped in between. What? As her eyes are, you lie. I, I never lied to you. And if you don't believe me, as he put it out a kuna from his holster that stabbed me through the heart and end my nightmare, which I have been living in for the past 18 years, Onyo, I miss you. I miss you. And I really love you. And if you think that I will do and stoop so low just to hurt you in some way, then you are wrong. I would never do that. And if you will feel satisfied only after I die, then do it. As Onyo grabbed in anger the kuna and was about to stab Kakashi as Kakashi closed his eyes as tears fell from his eyes. As Onyo started to cry and threw the kuna and lightly punched his chest as Kakashi hugged her as she began to punch. Damn you. Damn you. After all these years, I still can't bring myself to kill you. And I thought I was strong enough to do that. I love you too, Onyo. And I always will. I, would, I never would try to do anything to hurt you. How could you ever imagine that? 
as Kakashi then pulled her face up and kissed her. As Naruto then said, Ah, so precious, as he then snapped a picture. Naruto, come back here and give me that picture. As then Onyo stopped as Naruto dashed away, as Minato was standing there, as Minato hugged Onyo and Kakashi. Thank God that you're back. We missed you. Yeah, I'm sorry, Sensei, about this. No, actually, I'm quite mad at you for stealing my son and raising him, but I'm happy that you took care of him. I'm happy and thankful. Thank you so much for doing that. Because if you didn't do that, God knows what might have happened to him. We were hoping, imagining the worst, still hoping for the best. And it seems that God's scenery really heard that. Yeah, yeah, she did. But your son is quite a charmer. <laughs> he was even able to sway me when he was born. And not only that, house, make a house in the hearts of those criminals girls out there who were thought to be lost cause, even by me or their own villages. Really? Yeah, all of them are asterisk missing nins. As Naruto was trying to still calm down his mother as well as trying to cheer everyone up. As more time passed and Naruto common knowledge of being son of Minato and Kushina, correction, lost son of Minato's Kushina return was known to everyone. And a uh, old lady to a younger lady all hit it on him. I mean, moves mainly. The Konoha's, you know, mothers of the Konoha 11. From Yoshino to Ino's mother and everyone. Naruto was quite embarrassed by this, but well, it is what it was, and he was the most hated male in Konoha at the time because those males who were there hated him for his beauty and his handsomeness. But Naruto always managed to avoid them, and he was able to steal the hearts of many girls. When it became knowledge that Naruto and Sasuke were dating, many women targeted Sasuke, or at least tried to. Naruto prevented that and after that he agreed to date multiple women since he was alone and Kushina wanted many 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 grandchildren to spoil so Naruto married the following women Tizumi after pursuing Hinata well I mean Kushina and many many more was also allowed Hinata, Hana as well as the whole female Akatsuki group as well as all those others who were there before and some of them after came after the tuning exam as well as Naruto's harem consisted of more than 50 girls already and Naruto knew if he could take care of I mean all of them and please them both sexually and give them all love but he was proven wrong again and all of his worries were crushed when he was introduced to the shadow clone jutsu oh boy he could do a lot of things with that jutsu as for Onyo and Kakashi, they were also married the same day Naruto married some years later and were now expecting a daughter and they decided to name it Rin as well. And Minato was working hard to build peaceful relationship with Iba and all the other villages and it was working out winters thanks to his son and some of the other villages delegates marrying into a political marriage as well. And there was no Akatsuki as well because Kaguya was there being the Otsutsuki counselor or you can say a person representing them in Konoha and the elemental nations so everything was at peace as this was the story of Naruto the avatar of the deity of seduction as this is where I'm going to be leaving the story of guys I hope you like this one and if you do then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel I know it is quite you know different from my other stories but I wanted to change this up so this is it I hope you like this one and if you do then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel as this is Apollo Uchiha and I'm signing off peace